It's from the late 1800s up to about 1940, there was a massive emigration of Lebanese all around the world. And Canada was one of those places. So you had Cape Breton, Ottawa, Montreal in particular. There were three areas. And then the country of Newfoundland uh, uh, was also connected. In some cases, you, they may have gone to Cape Breton first, then come here. Some families did that. And in other cases, they would have come directly here. So with my own family, my father's family, his parents um, came directly here because they already had a connection here. My brother had three brothers here and a sister. And they came, my grandparents came in 1909. And by the time they came, um, the Lebanese uh, were already here doing businesses since 1897. Kalim Noah um, had his first business here in St. John's in 1897. So by the time they came, the, the movement of Lebanese coming and having businesses had already started. So it gives you a bit of a, a history. By the time my grandfather came, his brother Antonio already had business, a business here in St. John's, and his sister and her husband had, you know, grocery store and stuff here in St. John's. And uh, my grandfather went on not only to have a store here in, here in St. John's, he also was part of the, uh, the fish industry, as others were. Uh, he had a store in uh, Fleur de Lis and uh, would go up, you know, in the summer on the boat, bring supplies and pay for the fish, etc., bring the, bring the fish back, like other fish merchants. Uh, in a very short period of time, all that happened. The one thing I do remember, um, and, and this was, would have been, I suppose, I don't know if it's when I was eight or nine, you know, or as the years went on, I became a teenager. But we always knew that my mother, in the first referendum, she voted to join the states, right? That, and, and her desire to do that was always there. Right? Well, she had, you know, three siblings there, a, a brother in Boston and two sisters in Brooklyn, well, at the time of 1949. She'd always wanted to go there. And uh, the thing that stopped her was her, her mother falling and breaking her hip and my mother being the eldest at home and so the one who went to uh, Brooklyn with the other sister who was there was the sister next to my mother younger and my mother stayed up but my mother we always knew she had always wanted to be to be in the states right she loved the states um, her experience of it you know with, with her sisters etc and the first time I went there I was nine years old you know, mommy brought my myself and my younger sister so um, that I remember, my father, uh, and I don't know what happened in the second referendum. My guess is she didn't vote, because my mother was a pretty strong thinking person. And if, if the states wasn't on the second referendum, my guess is she didn't vote the second time. I could be wrong. She never, ever acknowledged one way or the other. My father obviously voted to join and uh, became a, a member of the first Liberal Party. And as a matter of fact, he and his brothers, who had an orchestra, uh, played for the first uh, liberal ball uh, after Confederation. Right? Because people may not realize that there was no liberal party here before Confederation that formed with Joey, you know, and the form entering Canada. And uh, so I grew up with uh, um, parents who went to the, to the liberal ball every year, and uh, my father, who, you know, they knew Joey, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, I think we're, I think more or less, except for my father for sure, happy with being part of Canada. For me, even today, I can't just say I'm a Canadian. I have to say where I come from in Canada and name it. So if I'm meeting a stranger and they say, oh, so where are you from? I say, oh, I'm from Canada, but I'm from the east coast of Canada, that, uh, from a province that's known Newfoundland and Labrador, we're an island out in the North Atlantic. I have to say it. I can't just say I'm a Canadian. Because the, the sense of being a Newfoundlander is just so strong. And, uh, it, and, and I can't tell you where it came from, because I mean, I don't remember us talking about it, you know, in the home. Uh, I, I just don't. Um, but um, we were still, I think this is the thing, is we, we were still um, in the 50s. I mean, good heavens, I mean, on the radio, uh, we may have had CBC, but we didn't just have CBC. And so the awareness of uh, 
of Newfoundland and who we were as Newfoundland, listen to the shipping news uh, every night on, on the radio. Those kinds of things were in my family to the point. I guess we were still very much Newfoundlanders, you see. We weren't Canadians. I remember learning, oh, Canada, you know, in, in, music, in class and in, you know, our core of singing. I remember learning, oh, Canada, we had to learn it, right? I remember that. But we were still, you know, all the 50s, we were still Newfoundlanders, you know. Thank you.